Hey, Leo singles, who's coming in for you? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit for Leo singles only. Singles only. When I was pre-shuffling your cards, asking for who was coming in, I kept getting Taurus. So some of you could be getting to know a Taurus. Maybe you know that a Taurus is into you or has a crush on you. That's for some of you, of course. Let's get into it. Leo singles, who's coming in? Let's see. Capricorn. Okay. <laughs> Earth sign. We have Saturn. Capricorn. <laughs> Saturn rules Capricorn. And one more. We have Aries. Who? Okay. Who is this? Right away, single Leos. I feel like someone who is very physically fit. I feel like someone works very hard on their appearance. They care about their appearance. They care about how they present themselves to others or in front of others. I feel like this is um, a person who dresses very nicely or sharply, okay? This may be a person who's into suits, you know, male or female, someone who loves suits, okay? Someone who likes to look the part all the time, okay? It's giving Virgo vibes as well. <laughs> This person may, be, uh, may pay a lot of attention to detail when it comes to their physical appearance, okay? We do have fellow Leo at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, fire sign energy is coming through. Someone who is very charismatic. Someone who could be uh, more so like the life of the party. They may love to win. If you get Aries energy, they love to win. They're very competitive people, okay? So this is a person... They may be a hard worker when it comes to all of this energy of Capricorn, okay? And so they want to be number one at what they do for their career, their job, okay? Um, I feel like this person, they may be a bit of a sore loser, okay? When it comes to competing, they do not like to lose. So they, I feel like this person will be at the top of their game in anything that they're uh, endeavoring to do, Okay? Let's see. Okay. These cards mainly describe the person and these cards tell us what's going on for the tarot. So let's get into it. Capricorn. Whoa. This is for Leo. <laughs> I'm looking at that Capricorn card. So yes, this could be a Capricorn for some of you. Single Leos. Who's coming in? Single Leos. Show me this person, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, for single Leos. Show me this person for single Leos. Show me. Two of Cups is here. Whoa. Okay. The Fool Energy. Mmm. And the Knight of Swords. So this person is not going to waste any time. They could be very serious with the energy of Capricorn and Saturn. This person is very serious about going after what they want. Like I said, they could be very competitive, okay? So I, for, so far with these three cards, I do not feel like this person is willing to wait. It's like two of cups, the fool. I feel you, I see you, two of cups, fool. I'm gonna take the leap of faith, knight of swords, I'm coming in. Mm, show me this person. Yeah, who's coming in? For single Leo, four of swords. <clears throat> yeah, the magician. They may have been resting for a while, like healing. Uh, this person, I don't know why I'm getting surgery all of a sudden. This person could have went through some type of surgery uh, with the energy of the four of swords. They could have been healing. Or maybe this person had been sick. They haven't, hadn't been going out. And now they're ready to manifest. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm better now. I feel better. And now I'm ready to get up. Get out and about, King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have also taken a long break from dating. It could have been four years. Wow, I'm getting four years with the Four of Swords. This person could have taken a long break from dating, haven't dated someone in a while, and then magician comes. It's like now it's time for me to manifest, King of Pentacles. Yeah, mm. show me. What does this person want to say to single Leos at this time? What do they want to say? Whoa, two. I've got two cards. We have the two of wands and we have you, <laughs> the strength card, your energy, Leo. So it's like they want to know what's up with you now. Like what's going on with you? You know, 
Are you into them? Where are you? This could be someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Not that this is an ex or anything. I'm not getting that energy. I feel like this may be someone who has known you before. Nine of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, this person could have also went through job loss. Or they've had a difficult time getting on their feet as far as manifesting being that King of Pentacles. Okay, having money or maybe they've put a lot into their job, into their work, and they're tired. Nine of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles. They may have struggled financially and now they're trying to get back on their feet or they have gotten on their feet. And it's like they're wondering what's up with you now. Yeah. How is single Leo feeling about this person, the situation? Nine of Cups. Okay. Page of Cups. So you're down for a drink, a drink or two. You may go out with this person. You may be open, okay, to just have a phone call. Okay, Nine of Cups and Page of Cups. It shows openness. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Page of Swords reversed. Yeah, it's like you want to get to know this person. You may not have enough information about this person like you would like to. Okay? You may not even know who this is. <laughs> Some of you may not know who this is. Mm. Let's see. Three of Wands. Uh-huh. What else for single Leo? Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. Again, I feel like it's someone that you haven't spoken to in a while. Yes, I got... Some of you may not know this person, but the, that original energy that I was getting for others of you is that you may know this person, but it's been maybe four years since you've talked to them. It's been a while since you've interacted with this person. And so you could be open to talking to them again. Yeah, Ace of Swords. It's like I'm open to, to communicating with this person. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. That's the lawn people. How are they thinking and feeling about single Leos at this time? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Empress. Oh my gosh. And the Ten of Wands. <laughs> Ooh. This could be long distance for some of you. I feel like this person, they it's like you've been on their mind so heavily with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you've been on their mind. Now, some of you could uh, have already like interacted with other people. Maybe they saw you dating other people and that could be overwhelming for them. Okay, but I'm getting more so that this person sees you as the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, and it's been their feelings have been overwhelming. Okay, yeah. What what are their next moves toward single Leo? Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, <laughs> it's a lot of defensiveness here. Okay, this person. Now, they could be walking away from somebody. They could be walking away from someone to come toward you, okay? I got this energy a little bit for Aquarius. Yeah. What are their intentions with single Leo? Temperance. Sag energy with the six of wands. Yes, okay. And the two of pentacles. <clears throat> it's like they're trying to figure out their next move toward you. They're trying to figure out how they can come toward you. You know, it's like, should I wait temperance or should I make the move? Six of wands, two of pentacles. They're still trying to figure it out at this point. What will come of this situation this week? Ace of wands, lots of desire here. King of cups could be a water sign for some of you. And the sun, fellow Leo energy. Someone is like, with no doubt in my mind, someone is very attracted to you, very into you, and they have a lot of feelings for you. I just feel like they're still trying to figure some things out on their end, like how to come towards you, how to approach you, <clears throat> or 
or how to express their feelings. I do see that you are open to talking to this person. Yeah. How else is single Leo feeling for this person? Six of Pentacles. Okay. Will of Fortune. Yeah, you want to have a conversation with this person. I keep getting that. Knight of Pentacles. Again, your energy is very open toward this person. Yeah. <clears throat> For some of you, yeah. This could be a Capricorn. For some of you, a King of Wands energy. There's that Taurus energy. I feel like for some of you, this could be a third party. This could be someone who's with someone else, but longing to be with you. That's why I was saying I got this energy for Aquarius. There could be something very tempting um, about you when it comes to how this person thinks of you. But they're held up in another relationship, okay? Making it a third party, three of pentacles, seven of swords. Something could be a bit sneaky happening here, Okay? But I feel like they want you. This person wants you. Now, if the third party is not another person, the third party could be work, okay, with the energy of the Harfont. This person could be dealing with family issues, you know, distance, anything, okay, surrounding that. I feel like this person could be dealing with another uh, third party besides a person. So, or a lover, <clears throat> So there may be other factors <clears throat> that are keeping the two of you apart or keeping this person from being able to make this move, but they are trying. I do see that this person is evaluating the situation and they're trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah. Show me. What is this person thinking or feeling toward Leo? Singles? Friendly support. Wow. I haven't seen this card yet. It says, fairies, guides, and friends give aid. <clears throat> so this person may need your support. They may need to know how you feel or vice versa. <clears throat> you may need to know how this person feels in order to feel comfortable moving forward with them. They may also be getting support from their friends or family. If distance is keeping the two of you apart, they may be trying to get money you know, maybe needing help or aid or support in some type of way. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, how's this person thinking or feeling toward single Leo? They have real feelings toward you. Wow. It says you share romantic feelings worth exploring. So this is worth it. It's worth exploring. Okay. Real feelings are here. And one more. We have you are worthy. Your worth doesn't depend on the other person. So it's almost like spirit is saying whether or not this person makes the move, whether they cut it off with another person, it, regardless of what they do, know that you are worthy of real love. Okay? You are worthy. So your worth doesn't depend on the other person. And I feel like some of you already know that. It's like spirit just reiterating, okay, and reaffirming that for you. Anything else for single Leos? Give me one card. Pregnancy. <laughs> Aquarius just got this. That pregnancy card is popping up, y'all. Some of you could be expecting, okay? Ooh, expecting a move as well. And like I said, if distance is keeping the two of you apart, I feel like someone is going to have to move. And you could get pregnant with this person very fast. The two of you may expect a child very quickly. Alrighty, single Leos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. Again, I apologize for the loud noise with the lawn people, but I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.